Welcome everybody. Ooh, what weights used to be back in the day. Oh, I gotta put oh, not too bad. Gotta put in headphones or you're gonna get doubling. Pretty lightweight actually. Uh, I have to switch them off of that. Sound settings, nope. Yep. I could have sworn weights used to be higher than that. That's what I thought too, that's why I was a little surprised. Hold on. Check, check, mic check. Yeah, we can hear it. I gotta set their output in. Alright, now you guys should be moved over to uh, my headphones. Well, look, we can't get this to start and run. I remember this car. Like, I, I worked hard on this fucking thing. This is my race car. Anyway, I found my old duplicator folder from like 2012 and I just I just started dragging in things. Look, look at the ropes being used to indicate um window frames, A pillars. You know, everything's like well, the rear home. wheels are locked up. You know, there's there's definitely a, a welded weld latch constraint which is the um See, none of these are working. Maybe I don't own them? No, you do. Wired numpad it input. It them. should be zero one. one It's right there. It's right there. That one. I just can't make any of these things go. Let me see if I can update them with wire. Let me go actually to wire and go to like... Numpad input. It'll probably let you. Maybe. I guess depending on how old this is. Oh yeah, look at that. E-brakes on and off now. I think I'd have to update all of these to get them to work. Alright, let's see if the other ones still load in. Always look at the bright side of life. Yeah. Helicopter engine, upload select file, prop a For some reason when you said combine racer, my mind went to like an actual combine harvester. Can't do multiple, that sucks. Upload. Please be patient, I'm retarded. Crane game, different. Like how floppy car, my truck is, it's perfect. Engine turret. Sentry turret. Simple tank, slider forklift. All right. I think that's beautiful, and I, th I destroy it, please. Okay. Helicopter engine. Here we go. Oh god. Wow. I remember this. Y'all want a slapper? Wow, these old props. Oh my god. PHX, buddy. I'm pretty sure this isn't even wired to work. I just built it. I mean, there's wire in here. Oh, never mind. There is wire in there's here. There's a oh, lot god. of wire in here. So much wire. So much wire. Oh, lord. How do I make this multiply, go? Multiply. Multiply. Oh god, look at this old gate. Is in range. Inclusive. 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 There's four of those. Got some multiplies, yeah. Four multiplies. Oh, here's a constant value chip over here. I gotta have to up. I'm gonna have to update every one of these these like controls. 
So what do we have? This is a advanced input. Zero to a hundred. Minimum zero, maximum one hundred. I wonder what it's zero. controlling. Where's like the? Uh, we're gonna make it increase as plus minus. We just keep the same model. So I gave it an input and it's not doing anything. So. Well, yeah, the rest of these chips. There might be an on button. There might one of the. There's nothing else to control though. There's like no other. Mm, there's nothing else. I don't see. See, there's this wire value chip. I don't know what all that information is going to. That is. Wow, what the fuck is that? I feel like there's stuff missing. Oh, well, no, Mike. there's a gyroscope on top here. There's two okay. gyroscopes. One but that's like, rotation and one that's not. Hubba, hubba. But there's no thrusters or anything, so I don't know. Maybe the thruster models didn't load? But I didn't get any errors, like, spawning this. Wouldn't it error? Yeah, I mean, maybe this is just... Like a weird dupe, like an unfinished one or something. Nah, I don't know. The way it was labeled seemed like one of the ones I was be done with. All right, let's try another one. This is a fun game. It's called Memory Fuck You Lane. Prop Eight Blade Large. I think. Yep, that was for the helicopter. We could still find. Nope. That noise, though. Uh, we did the combine racer. Here's the combine tractor. Which looks a hell of a lot like the racer. Just error. Sorry, you can't cheat like that. What is it trying to do? Not you sure. just put dualies on the back. Uh, that's it. That's the difference. No wing. Unknown command plus or minus GM special times two. No idea. Here, I'm gonna send something to um to the Garry's mod group. Wait, do I have to resubscribe to the thing? I thought we had it already. I updated it, I told you. Um, I updated it tonight. But I'm subscribed to all? Just subscribed to all, okay. I don't know, maybe it automatically like, updates I mean, if it's you a if group, subscribe to all. Oh once. no, it's definitely getting things in the workshop right this second. Oh, I did bad, I did bad. You would think you would auto-update if you're subscribed to a collection, but no. God. Yeah, wire inputs. All well, the wire inputs are apparently broken. That's how I used to do the steering, though. Wait, where the hell is the thing? I miss the claustrophobia of working inside a vehicle like this. Like, I know that sounds weird. That's why you started building weird. everything onto a panel outside of the vehicle. Yeah, but I missed. Well, I only did that to stop the lag from driving around with 30 extra parts. We didn't have parenting at the time. That's why I have autos doing it like this. Oh, that's right. Wire hydraulics is how we did it. Yes, learn from our history. I used to do wire hydraulics. I with wish I could see what the that spring was. rates. A lot. Actually, these are, are these hydraulics. These aren't hydraulics, are they? These are just what's it called? It's definitely oh, a no, screen. No, those are just elastic. Drive, my pretty. Drive. I just my. wish I could see what the elastics were uh, rated for. No, we use wire hydraulics now. Yes, but the elastics we used to use, I wish we could see what they were rated for. A lot. For. 
And then multiple of them. Oh my god. Oh no. Crane game. I don't think we ever finished this, because this, this is it. It's just the structure for a crane game. <laughs> you know, all these dupes... I'm trying to... F I want to I save everything. So I literally have a folder with, like, 250, 300 dupes. All just... Why do I keep doing that? Crane where? I don't see anybody. No, it, you missed Oh, it. there it is. Ah, uh, look how badass Gary's mod used to be! Ah! Oh! Still do this. Wow, look at that. What a V6? She slaps. She's a slapper six. Uh, Ooh, look at the differential back here. Oh, she's trying to turn on. Oh, stop it. Cease. I hit A and A actually worked. Yeah, I think oh. I think it's not. Oh. I think it's not. Oh. I don't think it's going to Remove. Oh no. We'll save that one for another time. You're that just going to spawn in all that your That was Z's diff car. One by one. Yeah. Oh, it's a classic, buddies. It's a classic. I don't think I was ever more proud of this. This is like... Oh, what error already. Oh, is this literally all gears? Wow. This is an engine-driven... turret. Like, the, the, the point was... I remember It this. was a turret, but instead of moving it with, like, normal shit, everything was gear-driven, even the up and down was gears and reductions. Oh, uh, please, what do I have to do to make this start? I got to see. No target, target finder, we got ones and zeros. Oh, uh... This doesn't show me what it is. I think I have to redefine the actual um, numpad input. Uh, I made it one. Oh, that makes the green light go on. Does it not run unless there's a target? Somebody spawn a thing for the weight wire target finder. How does that even work? I don't know. Here, shoot my truck. <laughs> Gotta, I don't know how. I don't remember what it Where's even fires or if it fires. I don't know. There's one control Fire I've updated. Target. There, I can make that go on and off. It's an indicator. Uh, we got a wire target uh, finder. Oh, God. Constraints force. No, I found this shit. It was in here. It's with the, um, like the range based stuff. thing is pretty sexy though. I mean, I've never seen a better looking thing sitting perfectly still. It's just like amazing. Do you have to give you credit on this one? Forgot about this bitch. I have wallpapers of this. Now I gotta take like 4k wallpapers. Oh, here's the cannon. Eight and six. The fuck does this do? Zero to two pad, numpad input. Zeus, did you put this up here? Up where? What? Where are you? I'm coming, I see you. Oh, God. Um. I wonder if this is the target. No. 
but I don't think it belongs up there either. Oh, it's definitely attached. Something bad happened. Oh, what? She's definitely advanced ball socketed to something inside of this. Because she's rotating with it. What the fuck is going on here, boys and girls? Right here, mate. There's too many weld constraints holding this thing together to even, like, let it go. Let it go. Can't have a fart anymore. Um, yeah, the only inputs back here are like numpad six. I don't even know what it's supposed to do because it's just this wired numpad output. What the fuck's a wired numpad output? Yeah, I don't remember. Your other car had a bunch of those. Is that for the seat? Oh. Yeah, why doesn't the seat work correctly oh, anymore? You're spitting balls out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That works when I'm in the seat. Oh. Hey, what's this gear doing? You know, that gear was up in the sky. Bishop found it. Okay, so how do you launch these out with force? I think that's what this numpad input on the back is for. But it's set to 2000, so I don't know what else to do. I think I'm deleting this. I think we're moving on to the next one. One of these has got to just like sort of work. I was going to say pick whatever the newest one is and see if it works and then we'll work backwards. You understand there is no newest one, right? They're all labeled the exact same date on the files. Because that's when they were saved or transferred. Yep, we've got two anti-cheat messages there. this little thing. Right, it's a pop-up turret. It kills your ass. Target acquired. Ooh. So how do we turn it on? Where's the on button? Here's the on button. D. Oh no! I've turned it on! I've turned it off. I have, I have turned it off. I'm going to now, um, turn it back on. And off. Okay, so... What's not... Is no collide not working? Those seem to be no collided, like, properly. Let me delete the actual body of this one, because that actually is trying to do something. This is exciting shit, folks. You have no idea. Fuck is the remover to... Well, it's killed the first person in like a decade. That was the goal. Oh. This is angry. This works with thrusters. That's what this does. That Didn't thrusters start that, that changing the amount of force they have thrusters. based on weight. Vector thrusters. Hmm. Oh, that thing is a nightmare. All right, let's try again. Grand duplicator. I got two left, and then I got to upload more. Oh my God! It's so adorable. Failed to make motor. This one just has thrusters on it. It's gotta work. It's got thrusters on it. Okay, 
Yeah, and they're right in the middle. This is the simplest fucking tank I've ever fucking seen. Why don't I... Why didn't it go? You can update thrusters. It's not worth it, though. It's too simple. Does it even fire? Is there a mechanism to fire? No, it just looks like a tank. It weighs nothing. That's hilarious. It's very cute. I like it. That's my kind of shit. Alright, one left. And the name is not promising, boys and girls. This one is called Slider Forklift. Prepare for the implosion of the universe. Arrow keys don't work. WSID doesn't work. No, it doesn't work. have to rewire your inputs like everything else. I don't even know where they are. There's a wired dual input hanging off the bottom of the truck. That is very much hanging off the bottom. Too many feet. And there's one up on the top of the mast. Presumably controlling your forks. Yes, well. Does this actually use sliders? Or is it just ropes? No, it's sliders for the forks. Because if you freeze the mast, and then... Yep. Oh yeah, those sliders are right. That's how you know for sure. Alright, I think it's time to show people what I've actually been building. Um, I was assigned to build... We Alright, here's the competition. Because it's not a competition. It's more like competing with ourselves. Because there's no point in coming back to Gary's Mod after fucking years with three or four people. And having them fight each other in the same... Like, we used to do truck competitions. Everyone built a truck. Everyone had to pull a weight X distance in certain times with time trials and shit. What are the other ones? Plane competitions? You know, competitions against people. But now, since we're so few people, and since it's Gary's Mod 2020... Um, you're just gonna do, like, I made the suggestion of doing, uh, like, a, almost like a box factory. Like, we all have a task. We're all part of a team. And we're basically gonna take vending machines, standard Gary's Mod vending machines, which look like this. We have these, which are slightly exaggerated in size, because they're like eight, nine feet tall. And our job is to transport these around this map using various forms of uh, movement, whether it's like my friend's building a truck. That's what the red truck over here is for. And apparently that's just the front of the truck. And I'm like, you're retarded. He's still going to have a trailer in the back of that. And I'm like, that's so fucking long. But um, he's building a truck. Uh, I might have to build a boat or a barge. And then I'm building this warehouse crane that's going to get things. In other words, we're going to start somewhere, load onto a boat. Boat comes around, I'll load off the boat onto a truck or onto a skiv and then onto a truck and then through the buildings and then just to move it around. We've got all the different tasks to do this sort of shit. So this is my baby, which is currently frozen. Is everything? Did I paste frozen? Paste with paste constraints. Preserve frozen state. Make props have the same frozen as when they were copied. Okay. Let me undo this and try this again because if I have to unfreeze everything, I'll punch my whole face. Okay. There we go. So, uh, super ice boxes on the diamond around these big posts. 
these posts, which the textures are not finalized. This slides back and forth. Another box. Another box here for the hoverball lift. And it, it, people are like, being cheap with the hoverball. But look, we don't have to worry about lifting height. It's going to move around nice, smooth. And hoverball can pick up a whole fuckload of weight. And so I will probably have I'm pretty happy with this. Okay. thrusters that slide this thing around. So just like that will be like a thruster action. Ooh, pasta's messaging me. Uh, that'll be like a thruster action. And if I move left to right with thrusters, and there'll be weld locks enabled. And hopefully it should be able to be programmed to pick up targets. I gotta blow my nose. Can I do this on camera? I could do this on camera, right? Oh, I'm sliding over to my paper towels. Get over here. Oh, God. So many printer, ink printers fuck is going on thank you oh wearing uh argon by the way t60 argons because why the fuck wouldn't i be that's why i should be wearing the zeus they're over there i don't have the wire for that so the goal is to figure out the rest. I'm very good at still at building the physicality of things. Like, this is a perfectly built. There's rope limiters. Oh, oh I hate the fact that it's stuck. I just want to see where my, what my thing is. If I chuck this to the end, and she'll make it eventually to the end. The hoverball actually has some resistance on it. But she will not fall off because there's invisible ropes that go from that piece to the center line so that it hits, and then when it goes the other way, it hits. So it'll never ever fall off of this. Uh, I could probably do similar things to this right now. It's just that I hitting the bump stops. The wheels literally crash into the side. Which is not the worst. Um, there's a little bit of jiggle on the vertical. But this should not matter when it's in use. Because it's going to have weight on the bottom of it. And it's automatically, it's a ball socketed, magic ball socketed too. I think this bar... But yeah, no, this is this is ready to go. This is I'm proud I'm proud of the simplicity. Um, they're all trying to tell me to go more complicated, but I believe we're gonna try to do this all at once. Like everything that we're talking about, the boats, the trucks, the this fucking crane, are all gonna be spawned on this map simultaneously. So I'm going for the most efficient method. Like these wheels basically are here for show, and that's about it. I mean, they're, they're keeping a little bit of the, of the left and right wiggle down. But, I mean, that's... This triangle is what's doing most of the whole... Wow, side. so I have Twitch installed on my phone. So I was watching a, a musician a couple weeks back. Just got a notification. T-Pain is now live. No. What's wrong with T-Pain? Don't say shit like that. I mean, nothing wrong. I just don't care. Like, what? You know, I don't have Twitch installed on my phone anymore because it's just a nightmare. Uh, an absolute fucking goddamn nightmare. And I hate how I can't go to, like, my Chrome browser on my phone and just look at chat. Or I can look at chat, but I can't, like, respond even if I'm logged in. If you want to talk, go to the Twitch app. Like, if I went to the Twitch app, I would have installed the Twitch app. Yeah, I'm done with the fun part of this build. The, the now is the sad part of this build. Where it's just wire. Oh, God, I gotta learn wire again. Which is why the dupes were coming into it. Mm. I'm pretty sure I need to find a fuckload of other dupes. Like, none of those are modern dupes is the problem. Those are all very old dupes. I need to find modern dupes. None of those dupes were, were new. Those were all old dupes. I'm trying to think what the most modern one that I would be able to find with E2 and shit written on it is. Say, go backwards mm. through your Gary's Mod videos and see what you worked on last. I mean, anything that's like a transmission or um, a Tatra. Those Tatras were all modern, but like last, modern. last. You never last finished the ETF truck. ETF truck would ha definitely have it. That's not some crazy wire on it. But I don't see it in like these folders I have. Like, it's not in there. I don't know. 
Everything I have, it looks like it was copied in 2016, but it's dated 2008. 2008 doesn't make sense. Is Gary's Mod, were we playing in 2008? I feel like we were playing after that. Anyway. Um, we need to do, uh, vector thrusters are amazing. We're not doing those though. Fuck that. We're not changing the model. Sound none is fine. Uh, input threshold. If the input force is below this amount, the thrust will not fire. Zero. Force maximum 10,000. Force multiplier. Probably one. Dude. That's wild. Why can I set the force multiplier and the force maximum of a thruster to 10,000? Isn't that like a billion thrust? Isn't 10,000... Ten thousands like a billion. I don't know. I'm gonna run a small test. Hold on. Okay. Uh. We're gonna make this way fifty thousand. Why is my tool Okay. Now we're going to put a numpad input on this. I like to use space. Uh, we're going to make the value on 1. Because we don't need to give it any more than the 10,000 times 10,000 that it already fucking has. We're going to wire this to that. And we're going to go... Okay. So with the force multiplier of 10,000, an input of 1, and a model multiplier of 6.16. Is that weight dependent? Of the thruster itself? Hold on a second. I need a very small increase in weight. 100. Oh, it was frozen. It was frozen. Oh, Jesus. Uh, original weight on that, please, which is five. Okay. Oh, at the original weight of five, this thruster will not push this, even with a 10,000 to 10,000. So what if I feed it 10,000 with the wire input? Numpad input. I'm sort of relearning the game, in case you can't tell. Oh, it'll only go up to 10 without me like. But if we take the weight of the thruster and we go up, let's say to 50, which is 10 times what it currently weighs, and she's off. Okay. So I guess that multiplier doesn't really matter. Actually, will she float if I do this? She should literally lift. Oh. She's just got enough, like, thrust. She, she, she's not going to go up. I want her to hover up. It's like watching a SpaceX rocket, only designed by morons. I'm SpaceX now. Alright, so uh, I guess that proves that it doesn't really matter what I set the thrusters for, which was the point of that exercise. We're just going to get the thrusters and shit locked on here. I was hoping I could get hover balls to move like vector thrusters, but they don't. You can, however, use hover balls as just dampening devices, which is nice. Uh, I'm actually going to limit these down. 5,000 force maximum, 5,000. And force multiplier. I guess it's a force multiplier 1. And the force maximum should be unlimited because it's just a maximum. 
Works out of the water, works underwater. You can set thrusters to work out of the water only or work under the water only. Which is kind of interesting. I'd like to make an intercontinental ballistic missile now. I have to go boop. And since this works in both directions, I don't have to like do anything else. That'll just push that way or push this way, depending. Uh, and then we're gonna have to move this cart, which is gonna need thrusters. I'm guessing I'll do one on either side. Dead center. And we'll just hope for the best. Let's have to reverse one. The force on one. Um... So I guess the first thing I got to do is make it so that I can control it manually. Because, like, controlling it with wire, controlling it with, with detection systems is very, very possible. The 16-day Megastruct cannon. Look up that video on my other channel, or this channel. Mm. That was a fucking piece of art. Although that... I don't know that did that detect that went to places it was a sign that didn't actually like look for an active moving thing to pick up. Oh god. <sighs> Alright. Where do I want this to be? The the most important thing is where the fuck do you want your expression ship? Normally you don't want it where it's moving, so I guess I'll put it over here. Top of this. Yeah. Top yeah. of the morning to you. Uh, oh. Piggy. Fun stream. Even if borked. Today was the day past the stream borked. Okay, so. That's a t the things I'm gonna need to control this are very simple. I've already got this, which I can remove from here. Actually, I could just delete this. Oh wait, no, but I need those numbers. You see the way the the way the fucking hoverballs work is very, 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 very fucked up. So you see the distance to Z target is 21. It's 0.21 because that's where I spawn the hoverball. But the Z target's actually some random point in every map. So my fucking up and down, look at this. It goes from negative 7,809 to negative 7,500. That's what hitting the button actually physically changes. And without those specific numbers of the fucking target, she doesn't move correctly. So I can't say go from 0 to 1. I have to say go from negative 7,000, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck, whatever, whatever the fuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze that. I'm going to take my weld tool. We're going to surgery this bitch off. And then we're going to put her... I'm going to lay it flat. And I'm going to put a weld back on it. Wait a second. There used to be easy weld. I'm, I'm literally having like... Oh, easy weld a second, okay. So, I'm just going to put the a control on each. Ooh, is that going to hit? I may have to no collide all these things. Uh, I'm rotating still. You know how long it's been since I've easy welded something? It's fucking wild. So that should still work. Because wires don't care how far away they are. And you can make all the wires visible too, but that's no one wants to do that. So that's that. I'm gonna need a just basically a, a dual input, a, a go forward, go backwards button. I don't like using negative one and one, but I'm probably gonna. And I'm gonna use A and D. I'm gonna put. The, I'm gonna use old school fucking controller here. Right, a and D is negative one and one and w and s yes because i'm playing on arrow keys because i just i just that's how i fucking roll fuck you and so that these wsid for my contraptions can use that to drive around and do things so we should have the ability to 
one, two, and then one, or negative one, one. So that's basically it. It's a three axis system. Uh, I don't know if they're no, I don't know how the no collides have worked. These entire verticals might be not colliding with anything. Uh, and now we're going to have to hook up this E2, which if we right click it, it should bring up a, but it's going to, I don't know why it does that. It doesn't bring up. How do I close this? Close hello world. Uh, simple tag. These are other ones I've used in the past, obviously. We're making a new one, a generic one, and our inputs are. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make them length, width, and height. Those are gonna be the three inputs, and that's for move along the length, move along the width, move along the height. And the outputs are going to be, I guess I'm going to need, I could duplicate the ones that are th for the length because they're pointing in the same direction. But the, the other one, I'm going to have to put in a gate chip. Either in a gate chip or just define it as a separate output on this. I'm pretty sure that's easy enough to do. Even the simplest tasks in E2 are just like, I, I, I can hate coding. And I didn't like it in school. And now that it, when it became like part of the, my fun game, okay, I will do it, but I will not like it. So as soon as I stopped playing this game, it all fell out of my brain. Just fell right out. Like like Kelly Bundy can't remember everything. So my outputs are going to be L, LT, that's length thrust, WT, that's width thrust, and H. B is hover ball. Um, so, okay. Which I have to dewire the hover ball and put it into this. Then I put the values into this so that it knows how to. And I can put smoothers on it and everything else. I don't need persist. I don't remember what triggers do at all. And I hate that the number, I can't, that I can't click down here. So I always like, just give me a whole fucking bunch of empty spaces so I can click anywhere. Fuck you. Um, Jesus Christ. I wish, I wish I remembered. I wish I had a, a vision. I'm basically, I'm, I'm pretty good at if-then statements. Like that's how I did everything. I used to do, when I did the Megastruct Cannon, which is, which was a 16-day build, 13 days. Now yeah, it could have been 13. 10 of those days. If it took 6 days to do the physicals, it took 10 days to do the, the, the coding for everything. And I used timers that would just start. When something arrived, oh, a piece of this arrived, boom. It hits a thing, start the timer. And at two seconds, do this. And at five seconds, do this. And at 10 seconds, do this. And at 15 seconds, do this. And at 20 seconds, drop it. You're done. We're set to zero. And everything would go back. Um, and I would use an external timer because I couldn't figure out how to do it with it inside of the expression chip. That might have been an E1. That might not have been... No, it had to be an E2. It had to be an E2. Did it have to be an E2? It didn't have to be an E2 at all. But, uh, yeah, um, okay. We're defining the outputs. So, left thruster is equal to one is equal to, you know what I hate the most about this? You literally can't fucking see the difference between parentheses and brackets. One of these is parentheses and one of these is brackets. Can you see the difference? I can't. Although it does color it. Can I get it to do the coloring? Because that's kind of nice. I wish it would color things. All right. Right parentheses without matching left parentheses line eight. Hold on. I just want to see if this gives me. Yeah, okay. It's just dumb. I think that's how this works. Yeah, this is if else. I'm not really doing an if else though. I'm defining the output, which is different from what I'm doing. Left. I just. This is the simplest, most baby fucking thing. I, I got to take my jacket off. Hold on. Well, it's cold down here, but I'm sweating. Gary's mind makes me sweat. And I'm sorry if this part of the video is going to get boring, but I can talk forever. 
Someone's watching this right now. Someone's like, stupid. Why are you so stupid? Like I could do if length. I could do this as an if then statement. If length, which is the input, is one. You know what? Let's do it that way. If length is equal to one, then uh, LT is, and you got to do double equals to ask the question if it's equal, then LT is equal to, I don't know, 50. Um, and then you do else. And I think it's, hold on, I don't have to ask them, I could look. Yeah, you do parentheses, then, what, where's the else? Is it just brackets? It's parentheses, then, because if you do, I do everything online. I don't code like everyone codes. So, I mean, you have to do the else in the second line, but you could just do it like that. That makes way more sense If than this shit. I don't understand why the verticality of it. What are you fucking helping? So, if parentheses, and then there's space, but there may not have to be. Is there a space there? There's not. If else, if this, then this, else this. We're doing brackets, we're doing the second thing. Else, uh, LT is equal to zero. Uh, see, now I gotta do this twice. Because length is the input control and it's gonna be one or negative one. Do I have to repeat the entire code again? I shouldn't have to. There's something wrong. Because if I, if I should be able to find every action that the thruster takes with just one line of code. I'm just stupid. If I go right below it. If I copy this. So if it's negative 1, which is the opposite, then this would be just negative 50. Or else it's 0. Oop, I fucked that up. We're gonna check this for. Left parenthesis must appear after function. A variable must start with an uppercase letter. Variable. Oh. Length has to start. I forgot that entirely. Oh, I totally forgot that a variables have to start with an uppercase letter. That's dumb. Then why was it purple? Yes, sir. So then what happens when you don't uppercase? What's the purple letters mean? Those are functions. I'll never understand this shit. I'm just a change. I copy pasting this over to width. Is it trying to fill in? That's kind of cool if it's like width. There you go. That's actually an improvement. But now I have to make the width thruster, width thruster, else width thruster, width thruster. And we'll just save that for now. Because uh, I have to unwire the ball. So now we have the fun task of flying around like an idiot. Well, we don't have to wire yet. We're going to length is... That one. That was the first one I defined. Width is this one. That's the second one I defined. Height is going to be that one. Which isn't set up yet. Um, debugger tool, everyone's favorite thing, puts that cluster shit on the side. And now we fly and do things. So, how good is my aim? Length thruster. Length thruster. I didn't do the negate thing I could literally do, just want to see some shit want to see how lazy I am or this is probably not even lazy this is probably even this is, uh, is it a this is arithmetic gate I need a negate chip it's so big there you go right there give me this little baby one 
Yeah, we're gonna just we're, we're just fucking around now. I'm gonna wire this to the negate ship and then the gate ship to whip thruster. Because it has to go the opposite of this thruster, which is there. So now is everything unfrozen? Is this thing ready to move? Yes, it is. Let's hit some buttons. Are those thrusters moving in the correct orientation? Yep. Nope, but only one is. Did I, oh, because I didn't define, I didn't reverse the thing, apparently. But, yeah, only one direction is moving. Which could just be because of my syntax. It's not just a fucking mess. Um. Nope, it says negative. And it should be negative. Maybe. You know what? Do I do that? I feel like that's gonna work. Nope. That works only in one direction. And that works only in one direction. Why? If... I just want a bunch of if statements. If this and this. If that and that. LT, 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 WT. Why am I so bad at this? I swear, this is like someone's watching this video is gonna be like, Zeus, this is a mental illness. Oh, I was I was never good at coding. I was just competent enough to get by. My physicality of the build was what got me, like, it was Gmod famous. You, know, you build a fucking bulldozer with a motor and gears. It's like, holy shit. doesn't matter how sloppy your code is to make the engine spin. If width is equal to 1, and we're defining it to be 50. So we're getting it to work half the time. Can I not send a negative value? Do I make it persist? What are you doing over there, Zeus? I'm being the worst at coding just right now here. I'm gonna send it to you in Can Steam I... chat. Yeah. Because it's easiest there. I, I I only did I did two ifs and an else because it wasn't working in one direction, and it's still not working no matter what I do. I had if else, if else, if else, if else, and it just didn't make the go. Okay, so this code doesn't work at all right now is what you're saying? One way works. I have I have just a dual input of one and negative one, and I think the one works, but not the negative one. Okay, here. Here's what you need to do. So if you want to do multiple ifs like that, your first line is correct. If this, then this. Your second line has to say, else if. One word, else if. If you're gonna chain them like that, the function you have to refer to is else if. And then your final one will always be else. Let's see if Hyvato is smart. Yes, you're not retarded. I'm retarded. Certifiable even. I do need to make these numbers way bigger. Actually, I'm going to do a cool thing. I'm going to define all these as the word force. So instead of changing 19 values, uh, I could just do a persist. That is. You got it a little more stable there, Bishop. And then the force is equal to, it was curly at the 50s, let's make it like 500. So that should var validate. And, and I figured out a cool way to uh, update. To show you. I did uh, make solid move. axles back here. But they Slowly actually uh, rotate a little bit. Like oh, a yeah. real axle would float. Need, so I can need get a little more, bit of roll out of them. Right. 
And I could actually put a multiplier on two different forces. But the way I did the ropes. Um, yeah. Alright, we're getting this. They're all invisible, but if you could see them, 5, the way I have them set That's up. 10 times more power. With just the ropes, it allows oh, yeah. a certain amount oh, of flex yeah. before it locks up by itself, just from the rope geometry, which is awesome. Uh, right about there, actually. So that's as far as the axle can tilt, just with my rope constraints, which is pretty sweet. And I'm pretty sure that's quite a bit more than a real truck could. Oh, yeah. I had uh, rope limiters, on, I was testing them so like they couldn't droop a certain distance. Alright, so now... But the problem is when the ropes max out, sometimes they get stuck, like rigid temporarily. Before I even add them, I'm going to so try to define... I'm just going to pretend it's fine. I'm not going to be jumping this thing anyways, it's just going to be towing. Alright, outputs. So now we need... Nice. Le uh, length weld latch with weld latch and height weld latch. Nothing. H, H, yeah, HWL. This guy's going to say something smart, but so, I have smart to say. This just has to be a, t a toggle of a 1 and a 0, because this is going to be weld latch. Yeah, when I'm not hitting any buttons, uh, be latch. Tomorrow, this is my off week, so I have tomorrow off, and then... Um, and I could probably add it to this code off, that's already obviously. here. So, because if I'm hitting one, then LT force. Um, if I want to add more things to the if statement, like if length one, do I take what's in the brackets and just do an ampersand? Or do I just keep adding more brackets of things I want to change? No, you would add an ampersand. Okay, so length weld latch is equal to zero. Obviously, you know how those work. It's like one space. If you need both, it. yeah. If you need both things to be true, you use an ampersand. Well, that's I'm not I'm not asking the question if both of them is true. I'm just defining. I wanted to when I move the thing to have a weld latch turn off also. Oh, you want to? So you're not checking multiple ifs. You no, no. This is just things. defining another output to be either one or zero. Um, I'm not sure if you have to separate it by line or if you can separate it by an ampersand. The ampersand might only work for comparisons and like math. You might have to like press enter to go down another line for your next command within the brackets there. Well, let's find Does out. That makes sense. We will find out one second. Uh, I do not recall how. Works. Right, LWL, this is LWL, LWL, off, off, on, off, off, on. Uh, upload and exit, nope, statement prepare with a comma, oh, it didn't even save it. There it is, why does it do that, it's so fucking weird. Um, must be separated by a comma. Bloopers! Comma. Chewbacca's down here, everyone, it's all good now. Right, if it's a murderer, you tell me. Well, let's see if the comma works. I really wish you could sit. Oh, that validated. Okay, so we have the debug on, so let's see. Left weld latch is enabled. Oh, the two. So length weld latch is doing what I wanted to do on the debug, but width weld latch is not. Why? What's wrong? WWL. W oh, because it's not set to 1. That has to be set to 1. Now it'll do exactly what I wanted to do. Yep. Okay, so now we can actually add our weld latches, because I don't want to do that before I get the actual code worked out, because then the thing's locked in place and I can't even play with it. This game, it's a game. You're supposed to play with it. It's like, oh, are you finishing your project, streamer? Uh, fuck you. It's a game. How many projects I stopped because I got to the point where it was cool enough to just play with? Uh, where the fuck is Weld Latch? There it is. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this Weld Latch indicator on because old school. I'm probably going to weld. And the way this works, we're going to latch this to this. 
and we're gonna attach these to the parts that are this is the length controllers so we'll look at there that's that so those will stop moving those have already been weld latched in place so they will not well that will move with that, that those are locked in place now uh, and now this thing I'm probably gonna weld latch this part of it and I'm gonna do it to this because for stability's sake like that's unrealistic but that's those will already be well latched in everything will be well latched shit's gonna fucking stop and again I haven't I haven't messed with the wall the uh that bitch because that bitch is special and I, I haven't even started designing like the crabber grabber arm or whatever the fuck we're gonna use it'll probably just use grabbers in like an array and pick up like two vending machines have we decided the orientation of the vending machines how we're transporting them and are we taking like four at a time two at a time because that's gonna i'm gonna take matter. a shit ton at a time oh, yeah. but i'm also building a tractor trailer yeah you so... just i think you just take one on your giant tractor trailer and it shouldn't even be in the back it should be in like the passenger seat like it's a passenger put a wig on it fuck it here's the thing i think you should because depending on who's building what and joining, someone like Dr. Nick's building a K truck. So he's going to be able to carry Mike one. Robots. But my truck is going to be able to carry, like, who, who fucking knows. So if your crane has the option to pick one at a time, Rip or then, much. like, groups of two or four additionally, whatever, set it up to be slightly, you know, more than just one, but also one, if required. Words and things. See, I can make a move, and then it just stops. And then it just stops. And then it just stops. It gets real violent in that shake, though. Um, it actually won't be as violent once I have the weld latches for this, for the vertical. Because presumably, like... Yeah, okay, let's do the weld latches for that then. Let me get it set up in the code. Because weld latches are like pretty much my favorite thing. They're like the most useful thing. Just these things are now fucking welded together. Fuck you. I wish real life had that. Um, I need to do an entire other set of inputs now. I'm pretty happy with the way this suspension is turning. So now I could just make height equal one. No, because it's a fucking advanced input. I could just pass. So I could leave the values I have in the numpad input, in the advanced input, and then just pass them through. Like if. Just don't even like, there's not even an if then statement. J just say literally height is equal to hoverball the end. That's passing it through. And then do if shit. Because then I need to, like it's easy when it's just a zero thing, but it's a multiple values. So I may have to, I know how to do this with a like cheat shitty way to do it. Or just make another input that's using the same keys as the one that's making it go up and down. And if that's pressed, then turn it off a hoverball. Turn on a low latch. Because, I mean, I'd have to detect it changing values. And that's that's just fucking annoying. I, mean, I should be I should be rebuilding it in an in accumulator and defining those values in here. But, again, I'm bad at things. So I'm going to have to put a new input height h2 is what I'm going to call the one that's a height 2. So I'm just basically, I don't even need to really wire it through here, but I might come back and fuck with it in code later. It's best to just wire everything through an e2. And even if you just do a simple thing like a transfer, like height equals hp, the end. You could always break that. 
without rewiring in the real world, you could just go in here and fuck with it. It's marvelous. It's kind of like a mini DSP when you could just break your entire sound system just internally. Okay, so now if H2 is equal to 1, which I can make it both equal to 1 in both directions. That'll make my that'll make this line half as long. Then uh, height weld latch HWL. I'm why is my keyboard fucking up HWL? I might my keyboard's like freaked out. Then becomes zero. And then we end the bracket. And then else. And then brackets again. Height well latch is then equal to one. So if I'm hitting a button on H2, which we're about to go assemble, then it's zero and not and it's one and it's well latch upload and exit. Now I need to go and be a super loser and make a dual input that the current keys are here and here, and we're just gonna make this both positive one. And it does not toggle right, no. And this is for the height. So we're gonna slap this bitch right there. And we'll wire that in just to make sure that the actual well lodge control works. Now look at our debugger. Um, yep, height weld latch works. Now we can go and actually add the actual weld latches. The part of this game that I was good at was just knowing where to put the weld latches, where to put the axis, how much to make it weigh. Like, we're going to weld latch this fucking thing. But we can't weld latch it to that because it's got to move. We have to weld latch it to the part that it's actually moving with. So we got to weld latch this to this vertical. And uh, since we're going to do both, we're going to do this also to that. Oh, wait. I fucked up. Whoa. Undo. Make sure this still works. All right. I fucked up. I didn't go place the controller. Weld this to this. Oh my god, stuttering. Controller there. Is the server really badly lagging right now? No. Weld latch invalid. Okay. One. Two. Place the controller. That's another thing. Get ready for the storm. One. Two. Place the controller. Okay. That worked. You know how many times you like the order of operations? You'll just click something and it's like, huh. Why did that not work? Because something something glitched. Something moved. Server had a hiccup as you were trying to click a thing. Gary's mod is so so much better in single player. Hey, look. Down. Lock. See, the only problem is it's got that little bit of, like, like, it doesn't move as smoothly anymore. Why is it? It's also perma-crooked now. And stop. And it goes up and then down. Because of the drift, this is locking before the numpad input has had a chance to drift through to the actual uh, number it wants to get to. So even though it's locked, it's still 10, ten di digits of uh, height adjustment off. But we should be... Yeah, that, that that's pretty fucking nice. And I mean, if you really wanted to be, if you want to go absolutely batshit crazy, you would then have a master weld latch that would weld this to like a permanently affixed 50,000 weight welded to the ground thing whenever nothing is being hit. 
which you don't need to do that because it doesn't make any sense. But I would just like, that's it, done. Because I could still like bend that because it's attached to this, which is attached to this, which is attached to this. But if that was welded to the ground, it wouldn't make a difference. So now we have a control scheme. Actually, I'm amazed that my key... I thought I was going to have to reverse like orientations of shit. I don't know why that's crooked, though. That's like, like dick bent crooked. I don't, I don't know why it's crooked. If I hold down and then I hold, uh, like it re like relaxes. That's weird. Because she's got a little bit of wiggle and she would normally reset, but now she doesn't reset. She's just. Kicking it, kicking it rad. Let go of the button. This is what is called uh, good enough in Gary's mod terms. And I went with like a pillarless design. Like, like a, these don't even need to be here. This thing could just be frozen in midair. But I'm assuming that this is like super strong Gundanium alloy. And it just extends over the water. So we'll be able to pick shit up. Whoa. Okay, we'll be able to pick shit up in the water. Here, let's move into the length. We'll go to the far extents. And if you want to be like, you want to be crazy, I don't even need to put those rope constraint limiters for... Oh, God. Why is it stuck? That was weird. Hmm. Huh. Huh, it's actually is stuck. It's a repeatable stuckness. And you could hide the thrust. See, it's stuck again. Oh, I did a thing. I did bad. Oh, I knew I was going to do bad, too. I knew it was going to be bad, and then I did it anyway. Because I'm like, oh, split second is not going to fuck with it that bad. And I did. Totally did. All right. Uh, real quick lesson in uh, physics. Weight makes everything stronger. And when you touch something with the fizz gun... It, it weighs 50,000 while you're holding it. No matter what it is, it weighs 50,000. Only when you're holding it. And if a thruster is going, which weighs 5, and then you make it weigh 50,000 by touching it like this, it then thrusts forward with the weight of a 50,000 thruster. And that's fucking dumb. So I just no collided all that, that beam and just had it reset. So let's park this. Dead center and we'll lift that up. Okay. Actually, roll my chips visible. Everything's visible. That's kind of cool. It doesn't actually interact with any of the things on this because of the diamond way it's set up. It's already been an hour and 13 minutes. What have I even accomplished? Holy God. This is, I, I swear, I have 10,000 hours in Gary's month. It has to be. It has to be 10,000 hours in Garage Mud, right? Because I've been recording for an hour, over an hour, and I don't think I did anything. Probably. Yeah, I played Garage Mud before Steam started counting the hours. So it's like, it's a, just a fucking guess. Got my big, long shaft. All right, my hardened shaft is now controllable. But it's manually controllable. According to Steam, Zeus has 770 hours on record of Gary's mod. Yeah, that was literally the Obviously end of our that's playing. That's like 250 days of it being recorded. It's super fucking wrong. If you count Gmod 9, it's even more.
Ow. Let's see if this will crush me. Like a bug. Not coming down. Am I hallucinating? Am I just not seeing it move because I'm perfect? That's up. That's down. Still down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll crush it. Just remember that'll crush it. So now the pickup head for the vending machine. I think we're gonna just make it a universal head because fuck. I wonder. I wonder if the advanced ball socket that's supposed to be holding that straight is what's causing it to be crooked as fuck. Let me remove that ball socket advanced. Off. Up and down adjustment. Then let me try to. I gotta wiggle it back and forth. No. It's nice and perfectly straight now. I do need to put it back on the ball socket though. Or this will get all fucky. Oh, it's already starting to get fucky and I can't straighten it. Of course, this weld latch is involved. S fuck. The only way I could do that is as I have to literally wedge my keyboard down using my knife. There you go. I'm going to rest my knife on this. You can see it's rotating. And then I got to like get it to line up. Take my key my knife off my keyboard. And now that's straight again. Ball socket advance that to like that vertical there. Did it just kick sideways again? No, it looks alright. And hopefully now. That's still a little bit crooked. Look at it. Why? Why? This is one of those Gary's Mount failures. It's just like. Just accept it. It's gonna be crooked. Maybe if I add the uh, the grabber weight base, it'll be fine. I'm thinking for that, like I could probably go with something like this. Put grabbers on this. Too obvious. Where are my wheels? Where are my S prop wheels? Jesus, there's so many. Uh. <sighs> I'm not yawning, you're yawning. Yes. Is that the biggest one? I think that's the biggest one. Once I go old school Gmod and go to like comic props. Construction prop. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I forgot how big some of these were. Oh, cute. Um, oh, Jesus. So, I think for the sake of stupidity, I need to, um, probably use one of these two. I think this one's too big, and this one's got bigger, bulkier girth. It's got the girth. So, I'm gonna, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna pull up the remover gun. We're gonna slap away all these dinky ones. Then we're gonna hit a balloon gun and we're gonna pop. And actually, I'm gonna undo that balloon because I, I want it to have a longer length and a more upward force and be a smiley face. And we do that because 
accidentally removing something is terrifying and accidentally putting a balloon gun there. But she was like, oh, 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 oh that's just funny. You trust Zeus now. Now you trust Zeus, man. And now I'm gonna hit up, no, I'm hit down again. Fuck, I gotta, I'm gonna slide my hand over to the keyboard. Because with it well latching, I want it to be straight when I attach it. And it can't be unless I have it on well latched. Like that. I also now have it at the very fucking bottom of the floor. And just because I'm... I'm going to precision axis it. Yes, you heard me. I don't need to rotate it after moving. Uh, push pull amount of 50 is fine. I'm going to precision axis this so that it spins randomly. I don't need to hit the floor either, so I could actually remove it into the body. Axis friction. Yeah, I'll put a little bit of axis friction on there. That's fine. Uh, rotating snap distance. Push pull. That's going down. we got to go negative. Negative. 15. So we've actually put it inside of this a bit. That's still going to crush the shit out of it. I can always adjust with the how low it gets with the hover ball. But um, I think that's... Yeah. How much does this stuff weigh? It's always right after that, the weight tool. That weighs a thousand. This weighs a thousand. It's crooked because fucking no one loves us. Look at it, look at it, just, uh, why? What's like my dick? It's just gotta bend a certain way. I don't get it. See, if I was a real, re if I knew why, actually this looks like it's bent. That's, that's bent because that's being welded. You could see, I could see it dragging, and like, like dragging behind it. I mean, there's not that much air resistance on this hover ball, is there? Resistance, one. It's not even a lot. I tried it with none, and it's not good. So, okay, so now I have a slightly spinning... It's got just enough friction to be like, uh, it's gonna slow down. We're gonna paint it, obviously. It's fucking disgusting. What was no. Oh, that says MILF. Where's the one that I can't use in anything? I'm going to try to use the one that I can't use in anything. Why can't I ever see it? It's fucking yellow. God. Stained glass checkerboard. What does this one look like? No. 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 Jesus, God, help us. There it is, that one. God damn it, that looks terrible. I was hoping that, was, that didn't look terrible. All of these are going to look terrible, aren't they? Yeah. It basically just needs a solid... Ooh. That's... A bad color? But we could fix the color. Um, we've got red. I want I want sort of like, a, like an emergency yellow, but... Like a safety yellow. Actually, that might be the same texture as this. Come to think of it. If something doesn't look good, by the way, I will. I refuse to work on it. That's not bad. Like it's a little bit shiny, but it's it's not the worst. Oh God. That's a little more dark industrial. It's like dark industrial. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Maybe I'll lighten up that yellow a little bit. Where are we? Where the fuck are we in our spectrum? Good enough for now. Okay. 
Uh, I don't want this to break, an, like an hour and a half is probably a good amount of time for one of these sort of videos. I don't want you all to hate me. Or who knows, maybe you love this. Maybe I'll become a, I can quit reviewing headphones and just play Gary's Mod for money. How do I play Gary's Mod for money? Like, I don't think streaming is going to bring it in, so you guys are going to have to help me out. Wire grabber. Um, I bet if you were really hot and you played it in a bikini. I mean, you're not wrong. You know what? A hundred's too fucking long. All right, so grabbers basically just literally they do what they say, and I'm gonna make the length twenty-five. So we have to get real fucking close to 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 make to make this happen. And I'm just placing them at random. I'm not like smart snapping them because it's basically these props are garbage when it comes to smart snap. So you're better off. Just visually guessing and not really paying too much of an attention to it. And then we're going to do one in the middle and one on the outside. And one in the middle and one on the outside. And these are all going to get wired to the same exact input of just grab. Like, what do you want me to do here, boss? Grab. And... Fill in these outside gaps because they're a little bit too big. Keep in mind that those holes, like the middle of the spokes, doesn't actually exist. I could weld one right there if I wanted to. But for the sake of convenience. Um, now I could weld completely over to the E2 chip or... Or... I could put an add chip on this, weld these, uh, wire these all to the add chip, which will be way easier. And uh, I think that's how that works. I think there's just an add chip. Like I think back in the day, back in the Dizay, this is how we used to run run the jewels. It's A plus B. Uh, I'm gonna give that a test before I commit to this. So, the control, remember, run everything through the E2, even if you don't think you need it. Ooh, I did bad. Um, so now we need another input. Grab. I'm just going to call it grab. And we're just going to define grab as equaling, no, wait, grab is the input. So, we have to have the output. Can't the output be grab? G1, G1 is equal, and then I'll just G1 this. Okay. Yeah, grabber one. So, and we're gonna update. That worked, and now I gotta do a wire input. Uh, space is fine, and toggle is fine, and one and zero is fine. And I guess I'll put it here. And now we're going to see how this fucking works. If I wire... Grab to that. And then I wire the add chip. A. To. One. And now we have to look at the edge chip while we're hitting space. Yep. Toggle on, toggle off. So that's just basically, it's acting like, it's just a, a, a jump. So that I could do the following. Uh, point at this. We're in the wiring tool. Hit numpad 5. And now we're going to just... So that's what it's grab is wired. Grab is wired. Grab is wired. Grab is wired. One red, 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 red. Okay, let's do the 
second set. Grab his wired. See why I wanted to use the ad chip? Alright, so grab, 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 and now the outside starting at I guess it was starting at ten o'clock. I should have started at noon. I did not do that. Oh, that one's hard to read behind the um That should be all of them. Red, 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 red. Come off this one. Red, 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 red. Okay. So now when I hit space bar, grabbers are either on or off. They don't change color or anything, so we're gonna have to do a test, an actual test. Close enough. I made it so big that we could have just like massive amounts. Oh, I froze that. That's why. Oh, Jesus. It, it was. Okay. Grab. We have grabbed. I could probably make these grabbers weigh a little more. Oh, you can see the ones that are actually holding it. Let me whip out the weight tool. What are these grabbers weigh? 10? Let's make them weigh 50. Oh yeah, way better grabbing. All right. So now, <laughs> fuck. <sighs> fuck. All right. Numpad five again, everybody. Because it makes it just that much easier to adjust the weight of many into Individual props when you can just click on them like this. Chemical castration. No, chemical. Fuck, what's that lyric? Chemical. So we go down. We go up. Much better grabbing ability. We go right. Oof. We slide over while we're going right. Ooh, she jiggles. She jiggles hard. I feel like I have to limit that thruster. I feel like that's too fast. Or the other option. Is, uh, here, here's my other option. And this doesn't need to be wire hoverball, but I'm going to make it wire hoverball. Uh, actually, I wonder if I should put this hoverball in the center of this instead of up here. This way it's not like dragging around because it's just literally dragging around. That is going to affect all my numbers and shit. How long are we at? Hour and 33. All right. Real quick. I'm just going to pop. Some like one air resistance, you know, zero point five. Create with hover on. No. Oh yes. Oh, you can't have zero point five. You can only have one, huh? All right, we're gonna do one air resistance hover ball. Uh, I was gonna do one here and one here, and that should smooth this motion oh jesus i hit the wheel oh that is terrifying undo i didn't think i could even hit the wheel so i'll do one there and then one here Still a little bit fast. 
Can I update the hoverball? Let's make the air resistance 20. This should creep now. So instead of lowering the force of the thruster, these will just act as a... Can I do 200? Will it actually go to a higher number? No, I think it's only up to, able to go to 20. So if I can only go to 20, let's pop on the infinite grids. We'll do four of them. Those will serve no other purpose than to just smooth that out. It's a little bit smoother. You can see it's dragging though. It's like because they are being churned through the air. What if I do that but on the bottom of this? Do I have a clear shot? I do have a clear shot. Four. Four. You understand now why this game can take up hours of your life? You're like, I can improve this. So this is a light little minor adjustment. I could I could definitely definitely I could definitely do that. Oh yeah, look, it doesn't drag nearly as wonk. And I gotta get rid of this one on the roof. She's gotta go. Let me set the air resistance to fucking one. Maybe that'll help it. That actually isn't bad now. I could probably go higher than, than one. Oh, God. What just happened? I've lost. It's lost its ability. But I did resistance, not fucking strength. Strength should have been fucking maxed. Oh, did the weight of the thing change? Hold on. I don't remember what the weight was. Current weight, 1. New weight, 50. Drop that. Is air resistance seriously what is causing this to work? Ah, that would suck balls. Nope, I just broke it. It's just broken. Got my steering working. I like your 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 rolling coal over here, bro. That is going to be the most impossible thing to drive around with a fifty foot trailer on the back of it, or whatever the equivalent's going to be. What if I'm going to haul doubles? Two trailers. Oh, Australian car. They run. Uh, New York State runs dual fifty three footers on the freeway. I think I've seen that once. I broke the hoverball on this. Okay. I need to smooth out right. the steering input though. Now the most gradual. impossible move of the day. Hold on, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do bad. I'm gonna do good. I'm gonna do good first. Hold on. Hold on. Right click, advanced duplicator. Then you gotta like right click save. Um can I click one? Oh no, uh I guess I have to type this out. I'm kind of excited to see how unwieldy this thing's going to be. Warehouse crane version 3. No description. Because, and I'm not going to load it, because I am going to remove the remover tool and, like a fucking surgeon, remover that hoverball. And what are we doing after that, boys and girls? A balloon. Because balloons are happy things that if you accidentally pick out your gun again, it's a balloon gun. Yay! So now, this should just hang like a fucking... Yeah, that's just hanging. That's just, that has no... That's just a weld latch freaking out. There's nothing making it go. If I go up, and then let go of it, and the weld latch will catch it. Throw that out of the way. Server lag. Is it in the 
indestructible? What the fuck is going? It is just like a wop to bring a knife to a gunfight. All right, so. Uh, Alright, we're going to end on that. I'll fix this hoverball on my own time. I'm probably going to move it to the center of this. I'll probably... Or I'll do a cluster of like four around the circle. Or, or something. I think one was doing its job. And simplicity is better. It's... I, I just... It's just... I couldn't be up top. It's got too much pull on the whole system. Boink. Thank you all for stopping by. We'll continue this at some point, maybe, or maybe not. I don't know. I think we're almost the same time as the last time.